Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and here I'm gonna tell you how to add and subtract of algebraic expression. So before we go for this, let us understand how to add a like terms and unlike term because that's an important concept to do this. So what is this like terms? So like terms are something like this. Let us take a different example like 7x, 8x so here coefficient doesn't matter like coefficient of x is 7 and 8 that doesn't matter only you have to check is the variable now 7x and 8x are the like terms let us take one more example 7x square and uh, 5y square so what do you think 7x square and 5y square are the like terms no they are not like terms because the variable here is x square and here it's a y square they are not matching they are not same so this cannot they cannot be a like terms now I'm gonna give you more examples of like terms let me take 7 or okay let me take 8xy and minus 12yx now what do you think do you think it's a like term yes it is a like term because I told you before don't look at the coefficient 8 and minus 12 are the coefficients ignore that look at the variable here I have a x and here I have a x again and y and y so x y or y x anyway you write it the variables the number of variables pre present is correct so we can say this is example of a like term now let me give you example of unlike terms So unlike terms will be like 6xy square and 5yx. Uh, what do you think? Here both x and y variables are present. But look here. It's x and x is there. y square and y is present. Here y square is there and here only y is there. So they are, no, they are the example of unlike terms. We cannot add them or subtract them. So I hope you have understood which are like terms or which are unlike terms because it's very important to recognize them because we need them for the addition and subtraction now let's start doing the addition and subtraction of like terms so i'm going to take a different example here so let me start with 7x square minus 4x plus 5 and I want to add this with 9x minus 10 okay now here you can do this in a column method or row method whichever method is gonna give you the correct answer I'm doing here column method so first I'm gonna write down the first uh, expression I got that is 7x square minus 4x plus 5 now in the second expression what they have given you have to place the like term just below it for example here we have a 9x 9x like term is 4x right x and x is there so I'm gonna place this 9x below 4x so here I'll get 9x and the sign of 9x is positive so I'll get plus here now next I have a minus 10 10 is a constant so it's gonna come below the constant which is 5 and the sign is minus so I'll write minus 10 now you have to do the addition below 7x is a no number so you can write 0 over there or you can leave it like that it's on you so I'm just leaving it so 7x square will come directly and then I have minus plus this is minus 4x and plus 9x both the numbers have a different sign so we have to subtract it so 9x minus 4x will be 5x with a positive sign so this will be plus 5x and then next we have minus 10 and plus 5 again numbers have a different sign subtracted so 10 minus 5 is 5 but 10 has a minus sign so we'll write minus 5 so minus 5 so that is this is how we should do it now I'm gonna give you like one more example where we have to add three expression instead of two expressions so let me write the expressions first So here the first expression is 7xy plus 5yz minus 3zx. 
this is the first expression second one is 4yz plus 9zx minus 4y and third expression is minus 3xz plus 5x minus 2xy so three expressions we got so first one is 7xy plus 5yz I'm gonna write down that expression so 7xy plus 5yz minus 3zx okay now we're going to start placing the like terms one below the other so here I have a 4yz the first term in the second expression is 4yz so yz is here 5yz so I'm going to place 4yz below the 5yz so here I'll get 4yz the next term is 9zx so 9zx we're going to come here because zx and zx are same so I'll write plus 9zx for the 4 it was a positive so I'll write plus 4yz and the last one is minus 4y if you see minus 4y is not present in the first expression so to write it separately so I'm going to write here minus 4y now we'll go to the third one third one I have minus xz so if you see minus xz is here you can write xz or zx both is same so to write below the 9zx so this is minus 3 you can write zx or xz it's same then we have a 5x so again 5x is not present in either first expression second expressions so we have to write it separately so I'll write down here plus 5x and the last one is minus 2xy xy is here 7xy so I'm gonna write it down below it so here I'll get minus 2xy For, so we have got all the three expressions are written properly now you can see empty spaces are there what you can do you can write a zero in place like if it's confusing you or you can just leave it like that and you can add up so I'll just write down the zeros so this is like zero just to remove the confusion this is zero again plus zero and here again one zero will get and then zero so we have filled all the gaps it's on you if you want to put zero you can do it or you can leave it like that now we have arranged all the like terms we have to add them so this is plus and plus so we'll start from the right side so 0 plus 0 plus 5x will be 5x and then in this here we have 0 minus 4y and 0 so it will be minus 4y minus 4y so if you look at the third one we have minus 3 zx plus 9 zx and minus 3 zx or xz so here two numbers have a minus sign so minus minus is plus so minus 3 minus 3 will gonna give you minus 6 minus 6 plus 9 you have to subtract because number have a different sign so it will gonna give you positive zx positive 3 zx so we'll get plus 3 zx now the next one is phi yz plus 4 yz so both have a positive sign when we add up we'll get 9yz and the last one here we have a 7xy and minus 2xy subtract them we'll get 5xy that's it we have got the solution here so this is how we can do the addition of the uh, given expression now I'll show you how to do the subtraction of it so I'll take the same problem the first problem I'll take it same so here we're going to subtract this two here we go so when you're subtracting the signs will change here that's a very important point here you have to change the signs of the expression which is below for example here I have a 
plus so it become minus so this is a new sign what we got so this will become minus and minus will become plus now this new signs are gonna change like we're gonna write and you have to follow that one remember whenever you're subtracting it we have to change the signs so plus will become minus minus will become plus and the new signs what you got you have to consider that now plus 5 and plus 10 will be 15 so we'll get plus 15 now next one we have minus 4 and minus 9x minus 4 minus 9x so minus minus is plus so we'll get minus 13 minus 13x and the 7x you can write down directly because there's a no number that you subtracted so that's it this is how you will get it so remember when you're doing it change the signs end of it we'll go and do one more example let me take here 5x square minus 4y square plus 6y minus 3 and I have to subtract this from the next expression is this one 7x square minus 4xy plus 8y square plus 5x minus 3y now you have to subtract the first expression from the second one it means you have to write down the second expression first and then remove this first expression so first I'm going to write down the expression this is 7x square minus 4xy plus 8y square plus 5x minus 3y now what I'm going to do I'm going to just write down the like terms so here the like term 5x square will be 7x square so write down below that 5x square I'm not changing the signs now I'm just writing the like terms one below the other the next one is minus 4y square it's going to come below 8y square this is minus 4y square the next I have a plus 6y so it's gonna come below 3y and minus 3 is a constant so we can just write down separately minus 3 and then that's it we have done everything if you have empty spaces you can write down 0 there or you can just leave it as it is it's on you now we're gonna subtract it remember I told you when you're subtracting it you have to change the signs of the second expression that is the one which is below so here the 5x square was a positive so it become negative this is a new sign negative and then there's a no number over there I'm just leaving it empty the third number is minus 4y square it become plus 4y square and with the 5x is a no number there we'll go to the next number which is plus 6y it become minus 6y and plus 3 will become so minus 3 will become plus 3 so we have changed the signs of all the numbers all the terms which are present now we're going to start calculating so 7x square minus 5x square will be 2x square here we we'll get 2x square now under minus 4xy there's no number over there so we'll just write down the 4 minus 4xy directly now third one we have a plus 8y square and plus 4y square so 8 plus 4 is 12 so plus 12y square and again below 5x is a no number so we'll just write down the 5x directly and the next we have minus 3y and minus 6y so minus minus is plus when you add up we'll get minus 9y and then last plus 3 that's it so we have done the subtraction here I hope you have understood how to add and subtract algebraic expression. If you have a doubt, just leave a comment below. And remember this point that when you're subtracting, signs will change. If you forget that step, then the entire answer may go wrong or you'll get a different answer. So just be careful in that step. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, then subscribe and click on bell icon.